Can you all grab one according to play? Yes. Should all of your eyes be up here right now? Yes. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, a coordinate plane, according to our definition, is a grid used to plot planes, right? Right. So a coordinate plane looks like that. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. yes. Um, when you're graphing on a coordinate plane, you always start where? Origin. And what are the coordinates for the origin? Zero, zero. Okay, so when we're at zero, zero, and we need to graph a point on a coordinate grid, what axes do we start with? The whole X or the Y? Yes. So we basically go right or left because the axis of the horizontal, right? Yes. yes. Okay, then after we go right or left from the origin, we go what? Y the y axis. The y axis runs which direction? Up and down. Up and down. And we remember y to the sky. Sky. And then we are using, when we're graphing um, things on a graph, we're using something called an ordered pair. And an ordered pair would be the coordinates that mark a point on a grid. Yes, no? Yeah. And in the ordered pair, you have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Which one do you always start with again? X. And then that one goes across, and the y goes up and, down. up and down, okay? And when graphing, then you always end up in one of four spots. And those one of four spots are called quadrants. quadrants. Okay. So if we go to the next page, we actually have all of the quadrants labeled, and we've actually put a value in for all of the quadrants. Yes or no? Yes. Riley, eyes up here. Yeah. So if you start at the origin, and you go this way and this way, That's this is a positive direction, right? Yes. And up is positive, right? Yes. So quadrant one is always going to have a positive and a positive, right? Yes. However, if we're going to like quadrant three, we start at the origin, we use a different color, we start at the origin, and we go left, is that positive or negative? Negative. And then we go down, is that positive or negative? Negative. So quadrant three always has negative, negative. 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 And then if quadrant one starts in the upper right hand corner and quadrant two goes this direction, what direction are we going when talking about the order of the quadrants? Counterclockwise, right? Because the clock actually runs this way, but we're starting at one and we're going this way, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And then um, are you guys able to graph a point like three, four? Yes. Where do you always start? Origin. And since it's a positive three, do we go right or left? Right. And then we go up or down? Uh, oh my god, there we are. Y'all can handle that? Yeah. And then uh, if I give you a point like point A right here, could you tell me where it's located? Yeah. And do you need to use the parentheses and the comma? Yes. For sure. And then the last question we had was distance. And I asked you to tell me the distance from, you're doing a great job by the way, from D to B. And I asked you to give me an ordered pair. So if we're starting at D, this is kind of like our origin now, right? Yes. And if we um, are going to use an ordered pair, can, do we, can we start by going up and down or not? No. We have to go left, left, right or left. So since B is over here, we probably need to go this way, which is negative or positive. Negative. And then we need to go this way, which is positive or negative. 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 Positive. Positive. Well, if we go up, that's what? Positive. So we went negative 5. And then we went positive 11, and that's how we got negative 5, 11. Yes or no? Yes. Questions, comments, quandaries?